Yo, what's up guys, Chats here, and I'm back with another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be doing something a bit different, I'm going to be doing a Cinema 4D uh, tutorial. Um, it's basically how to make this shiny chromish text here. Um, this is for a client I'm working with, but um, pretty much how to do uh, this nice kind of chromey effect with a black outline and reflect and all that. And uh, it looks pretty nice. So um, first thing I'm going to do, go to new, uh, put that at uh, front. <coughs> so I'm looking at it in the front. Um, then you want to do your render settings. Um, I have a preset, so I'm just going to load render PNGs. And then you go here. Um, I'm just going to save it here. Uh, call that top 3D. And then output. Uh, this is how big you can put how big you want it. Um, usually I go for something like 920, so it's massive, and I can use it on quite a few things, like backgrounds and stuff. Um, so that's pretty much render settings done. Um, I show you how what my preset is, uh, the settings of my preset, but I made it so long ago I can't even remember how to do it, um, and I've just used this one ever since, and I haven't had to change it. So just try and find a tutorial on that because um, I'm not quite sure how uh, then we're going to create oh no first things first go to render and render PNGs or whatever yours is called and that will make it widescreen or whatever or the size you've got I'm going to go here go to text just insert any text um, there we go I'm going to use that same font which I used in the one you just saw I don't usually use this font but it looks quite good in the uh, um, in this style, pull the spacing out a bit. Uh, in fact, I'm going to change that. I'm not going to use that font. Um, I'll just go with typograph, make it semi bold. Bang. Pull that back in. In fact, I'm going to make it bold, uh, extra bold. There we go. Right now, we've got that. Um, we don't want that spleen there, just delete that. Uh, go to here and click extrude nerbs and then just take the text and drag it into like that. See what I've done there? It will come up with that little box. These are basics, basic, th these are basics uh, if you've done uh, Cinema 4D stuff before. If not, then this shouldn't be too hard to follow. Fill it cap, uh, where you want to go to, you want to go on caps first. I'm going to put that about 3, I usually don't have it that much and keep that on 1, if you pull this up it will go smoother as you can see if I render it, the, it's kind of smooth edges but I usually just keep it on 1. Um, what you want to do then, uh, I'm just going to push this up to 200 which will make it, uh, it, would make it deeper. Uh, I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go to the bottom one push it back a bit with the blue arrow there I'm gonna to go to caps again take that one put it on cap and then put this one on fillet cap and what that'll do is it will create a sort of outline like this uh, you just gotta make it bigger like so so now we've got our basic text what we're gonna be doing so if I just render that quickly that's what it looks like um, this is what we're going to be doing and then we want to add our materials so you go file load material preset cinema 4d materials misc and bedif.com and chrome now that's a lot of uh, little extensions um, but I'm not you should have all of these um, hopefully some dickhead next door is shouting at the top of their voice so if you can hear that um, oh and a dog and a dog if you can hear that uh, but anyway so yeah you should have all them um, the, if you've got all these they come with some great materials that you can use uh, there's some great stuff in here if you haven't seen that before so that's a nice tip just drag the chrome onto the top one <coughs> dog still barking and then we're going to create the black one so just go create a new one go to color clearly just make that black reflection uh, what we do here, go to texture, click that little arrow and go to Fresnel 
and then put brightness at 50 or 50 whatever, 51 and then mix strength at 20 and then that's it, that's all you need to do to that and then put it on the bottom one now, if I do that, that's what it looks like now you can't really see the black because obviously the background is also black so it's kind of awkward um, but yeah, I'm just going to make this a bit smaller because it's a bit too much of an outline that would do. Um, <clears throat> uh, now next is lights. Now I don't really do that much with the lights. I just go here, click that, go to shadow, and put shadow maps uh, soft. Select that. Uh, bring that up there. Put that in the middle. Leave that one there. Now all this really is is copy and pasting and moving these lights around. Uh, so copy, paste, just Command C and Command V, obviously. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. I'll mute that and then do it again and basically just gonna make it so all the edges are shining like so but I don't move it forward or anything I keep it at the same position just change where they are I go back to the first one which is in the middle copy and paste that and I'm gonna pull that out like so put it down there then I'm going to click this uh, green one here which is an array I'm going to drag the one, I, the light I just done into that so it will make an array now I'll pull that up to make it bigger and I'm just going to pull it down like that and let's see what that looks like there we go um, that's pretty much the basics of it uh, you can just add a rounded thing to see what it looks like instead um, and it's your choice uh, but when it's on one it kinda looks more shiny in a way so uh, yes yeah, your choice you can do whatever um, and that is pretty much it then all I need to do is click that and it will render it out and there we go so now if I go into Photoshop this is the background I'm creating for the client as well um, open it up and there you go you've just got the text a transparent background and you can just copy and paste this into wherever you want like BAM and that is SAM, 500, SAM 5000's layout which I done recently and there you go it took quite a while to load um, but and it's behind there so you can't really see it but uh, that failed. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> now you've seen that background. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll put it on Twitter anyway. But it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, pretty much what I showed you is how I do most things um, with just different materials uh, and different, different, um, just, uh, well, caps and all that stuff. I just change it around. And, uh, you can make some nice stuff with it. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like the video if uh, you helped, uh, if it helped you or you enjoyed it, or just out the kindness of your heart. Um, thanks a lot. This is Strats. Hopefully, some more tutorial soon, and see you later.